Hello everyone, welcome to our Timeless Sunset Tarot. So today I'd like to invite you to a general reading which involves also Jack signs. And uh, it is also a timeless reading. So anytime you find yourself watching this video, that's the best time for you to receive a message. Now since a general read, it is a general reading, just take what resonates with you. Okay, we'll try to see what is our main energy at the end of the day. Beautiful. We have here the Ten of Pentacles. Okay. Right now what I feel is that uh, for some of you, you, are, you have attained a certain degree of success. And it has given you a certain security at this time. I feel the security that you are experiencing right now is also making also the people that you love and care for also feel secure. So there is a certain achievement and uh, congratulations. I think you really have achieved something and it has given you a sense of stability. For some of you, it's a financial stability. What comes to me also, some of you might be receiving a certain inheritance at this time. Uh, a certain legacy from an older generation. And for some of you, uh, yeah, it can be an inheritance or it can be uh, a certain business acumen that is being imparted to you by somebody who is older. It can be... Uh, somebody who appreciates your potential and somehow is entrusted to you maybe the secret of their trade for some of you you will be receiving some material things what comes to my mind right now some of you might receive a certain property and it will bring joy and stability also to your family for some of you who have been already very successful some of you might be thinking of entrusting certain things that you have or giving it to somebody who is younger than you so uh, the word legacy comes to me right now so it's a beautiful thing it's a beautiful omen for everyone for the person who is entrusting it because somehow you have a, a certain legacy that you will leave behind and for those who are going to receive it, uh, a certain joy because somebody has uh, found you worthy to receive something beautiful from them. So it's a beautiful card right now. Let us try to see how this will unfold further. Okay, for some of you, because of what you have received or what you will receive at this time, it will allow you to begin something new. Something that is what comes to my mind right now is something that you have been always dreaming of. Something that you have been inspired of pursuing. I think because of this uh, windfall or whatever this beautiful thing that you will be receiving. It will give you the inspiration and give you also the capacity to begin. Something that has inspired you or something that is on fire within you. And so you will be starting that project and it seems to be something that others will appreciate also. So when you start this project, you will be receiving support also from other people and maybe also some guidance from those who have gone ahead of you, those who have already much experience in the project because I feel that they somehow uh, trust your potential and your capacity as uh, with regards to this new inspiration that you are following through so you will be receiving support also from other people and f I feel somehow what you will be receiving from somebody will allow you to reach for your dreams now because somehow it will give you the maybe the resources that you need in order to start it right now in your life so try to see how this resonates with you at this time now what is the advice of the universe? Well, I think the advice of the universe is just try to attain a certain balance. Uh, don't go overboard with the gifts that you will be receiving and also the inspiration that you have. Try to always attain a certain balance in your life. 
for some of you, you need to balance between uh, your inner life and your exterior situation. Somehow, uh, there will be a lot of activities in your inner life, maybe because of the resources you will be receiving or the gifts that you will be receiving or the support that you will be receiving. So there will be a lot of interior activities. But somehow the balance here is to be like the King of Cups. The King of Cups is somebody who is emotionally mature and who is stable. You see, he's holding the cup and the scepter almost equally. So it means that he is using his... Uh, mental capacity but at the same time also listening to his intuition so both the conscious and subconscious parts of your person need to attain a certain balance so that uh, you will be able to move farther forward into your inspiration and at the same time i think you will be able to use whatever gifts you will be receiving or whatever resources you will be gaining uh, wisely so in a certain sense here the King of Cups symbolizes somebody who is well-grounded but at the same time listens to their intuition and at the same time also uh, balances between her, his or her intuition and their uh, logical thinking. So I feel that what is the advice of the universe is as you receive the resources and as you see that the possibility of attaining your dreams is already becoming a reality, don't lose the balance remain the balance don't go overboard and at the same time have the confidence that things will come into reality so this is what we have for our tarot reading let us now go to the second part which is the insights at twilight for our insights at twilight the message comes from chris carr and the message is, Honestly, self-care is not fluffy. It is something we should take seriously. So, uh, somehow, the message is telling us that self-care should be an important part of our life. And I think it is just but fitting if we will try to relate it to our tarot reading for today. Uh, somehow, it makes us because in that in the reading what we saw is that you will be receiving something or you already received something that will spur you to reach for your dream and really work on it now as you work towards your dream it is important to uh, always remember to care for yourself because oftentimes when we get so inspired in achieving something we somehow sometimes neglect our personal needs because we are so inspired to reach for our dream. So I feel that was the message also of the King of Cups, that as the King of Cups is reaching for uh, the attainment of his goals, he is also trying to balance it, trying to attain a certain balance in doing things. So in a certain sense also, as we strive for our goals, we need also to temper it, temper it by listening also to the needs of our person so self-care should be part uh, we should not just go overboard wherein we work and work and work without giving time for us to rest giving time also for us to reflect giving time also for us to listen to our intuition to listen to the inspiration and guidance coming from the divine so it's important for us to spend time always even if we are busy working towards our goal, it's important to always take a moment of pause to allow the spirit to catch up, to allow our emotions to slow down a bit, to make sure that we are able to declutter ourselves of whatever negative energy we might have picked up along the way, and also to be able to let go of whatever anxieties or tension that we have. And will allow us also to have that positive outlook to look at challenges not as a source of anxiety but a source of inspiration, source of excitement, source of, uh, of uh, somehow energy for us to move forward. So in order for us to move forward healthily, it is important to have that balance. And part of having that balance is always taking time to care for ourselves spiritually, emotionally, intellectually, physically. So 
when we look at it, there is a need to have that balance. Balance between work and rest, between uh, work and play also, between uh, uh, tension and relaxation, okay, between uh, activity and also rest. So, attaining a, a certain balance just like the King of Cups who handles everything in a mature, balanced way. So, I feel this is the message for us right now in Insights and Twilight. So, I hope that our Sunset Tarot has been beneficial for you. And uh, thank you for the likes and comments you've given to the channel. Thank you for subscribing. I hope to see you again soon. Until that time, may God continue to bless your ways.